Drake rises again. Okay. Power room. I can do this. Is nobody going to tell him that it's too late? <laughs> like, it's very, very close to too late, right? It's, it's getting pretty close. It, it is almost auction time. That's why you should have went up the trellis and not all the way around that, that uh, oh. post. What were you thinking, you Damn crazy it. person? God, why did I pick the power room? It would be amazing if there's a time limit, though. There, there, okay, so there eventually is a time limit, but not mm -hmm. right now. Oh, oh, I bet it's a vase again. What is it? Oh my god! It's Valdo's weapon from Soul Calibur. <laughs> Got some strange letter opener for very <laughs> severe letters. Hey, Sully, you want to be Valdo? Want to do some Valdo cosplay? Here, I have this ball gag. Put it on. <laughs> for unrelated reasons. <laughs> Look at this pipe. It bends. Oh, wow. Oh, boy. Yeah, right? Bending pipe technology. Oh. Welcome to the PlayStation 4, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> My God. Spin that pipe. Yeah. Can we just go all the way down there and steal one of those boats instead? I'm tired of this cross. I want a boat. <laughs> Look, it, what if we just sold a whole bunch of un stole a bunch of unrelated things that add up to the amount Alcazar wants? Yeah, we could get him a fleet of yachts. They're just sitting there waiting. I bet we could steal more than enough in the time frame you have been given, Sam. It'd probably be less dangerous too, stealing a boat or five. It is its own getaway car. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. Let's steal a bunch of treasure and then just steal a boat afterwards. Let's, let's just gone in 60 there, seconds of this. There's and three steal of a whole us. Bunch let's, of ra rare cars. There's three of us. Let's steal three boats. And put the other shit we stole in those three boats. Ecco fatto. Speriamo di non dover cambiare altri fusibili del cazzo stasera. So I know we've been like going after pirate treasure and stuff for like years, but I just learned this hot new thing that makes a lot of money. It's called heroin. <laughs> Surely there are modern, contemporary things to steal. <laughs> Let's just get a bunch of boring old gold bullion. Mm -hmm. Let's buy... Let's steal some... Uh, Here we go. Now, where the hell are the circuit breakers? Rights to, like, farm and, and mining land. Yeah. Ah, oh, crap. Sam, Sully, you there? God damn it, kid. Where the hell have you been? I made it. Had a few close calls, but... Yeah, well, if you're gonna cut the we power, now would be a good time. Right, well, I'm gonna need a minute before I can reach the panel. We don't have a minute. Rafe's about to walk out of here with your cross. Wait, what? Rafe? Rafe is here? Yes, Rafe is here, and as of right now, he has the highest bid. Well, I'll bid him. With what? I don't have that kind of scratch. Sully, we're stealing, remember? What if he calls my bluff? <sighs> he won't. We have 90,000. Do I hear any more bids? Guys, if we do not get this cross, I am as good as dead. Yeah. Well, I end up with the highest bid. We're all dead. Sully, I need you to buy me more time. Since we have no other bids. Trust me. Going once, going twice. Oh, screw it. Then may we have 100,000 euros in the room. Thank you. Do we have any other bids? We now have 110,000 euros in the room. For a penny and for a pound. That Don't worry. We'll be out of there in no time. I better be. Okay. Just gotta smash the lock. But now the bid what? There is a time limit here. The, nope. is, is the time limit before Sully really does have a heart attack? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, uh... Nothing. Damn it. Eventually, the, those guards that were here that left something. eventually come back. Come and uh, starting to sweat bullets here. Yeah, give me a sec. And they'll just fucking shoot you right in the face. <laughs> yes. Signore's bid makes 170,000. We 
Okay, we're now double where it was impossible. <laughs> gotcha. Alright boys, I'm at the switch. You ready? As I'll ever be, Victor. Just a sec. The gentleman's beat? 200,000 euros. 500,000. Let's get the show on the road here. Uh, thank you. We have 500,000 euros in the room. Does the gentleman wish to bid again? Had me worried there for a minute, Victor. Thought I might have to kill you. <laughs> okay. Let's ruin this asshole's evening. Anyone else? <laughs> we are going once. Going twice? Then I shall sell it for 500,000. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain calm. Now that is a the sense of dramatic timing there, Drake. Uh-huh. His hand was on the switch. He could have done it at any oh. moment. Yeah. Move it! Get out of the way! Stop him! Hey, stop that guy! Fermo! What are you doing? You're letting him get away! You speak Spanish. What? Sam, tell me you got the cross. I got St. Dismas right here. You want to say hi? Yeah, we really kicked the hornet's nest down here. Ballroom's locked down, security scrambling. Hey, Victor, where's our getaway? Come to the driveway out front. Just follow the spotlights. I'll bring the car around. Is it the bright green car? Does Sully drift? Oh, my God. <laughs> Shit. All right, so stealth in this game has some extra mechanics in it now. Mm -hmm. uh, there, there is a actual meter that mm -hmm. fills up before dudes go into caution mode, uh, where they will then search the last place they they thought they noticed you. This allows you in this game to like exit and re-enter stealth mode. Uh, in previous games, they would give you chances to sneak, but once you got caught, you would just have to kill everybody. Right. Yeah, and in this game, now you can get caught, but if you hide uh, decently, they will lose track of you, and then you can go back to stealth killing dudes again. There's a couple extra things we'll see in, in later videos with how this changes up stuff, but it's a really nice addition. Yeah. It also changes how, like, the actual combat itself works, too, because now there's this, mm -hmm. this extra bit of being able to do a lot more neck snapping than before. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what we're really here for. Okay, maybe we should have brought guns. Sam was right. Maybe I should have planned to maybe murder a man or two. Just in case. It's a safety strat. Yeah. Also, action rolling makes you harder to see, I think. Yeah. Uh, Otherwise, why would people do it? Yeah, exactly. Captain Kirk did it all the time. And that worked out great for him. Nobody ever saw him. Nobody, never, nobody ever saw Captain Kirk, that's right. Uh, he was... He, everybody thought he was just the wind. The sexy, sexy wind. Uh, so now, yeah, you can hide in grass and stuff. Uh, and stealth kill dudes that way. Uh, if even if they're not in the grass, if they're close enough, when you stealth kill them, you'll drag them into the grass to hide On their bodies. Way. Heading to higher ground to get my bearings. Other That's enemies so see cool. yeah. bodies around. They will immediately go into caution mode. I, I like that. Uh, I like that the guy turned yellow when you grabbed him. Like I think I saw someone. <laughs> yeah. Who's squeezing my neck? <laughs> There's the ballroom. Driveway's right in front. Ooh, that's a lot of buildings to jump over. Uh huh. Let's take a shortcut. Okay. Everything's fine. No one got a good look at me. I'm just gonna play cool. Stroll right on out of here. Uh, money on Nadine? Oh, I'm oh. the best. I'm so <laughs> good at this. You're not supposed to be back here. Well, neither are you. But I'll tell you what, 
I won't tell anyone if you don't. You have something I want, and you're going to give it to me. Really? Well, I'm flattered, but I'm afraid I'm spoken for. Oh, if you'll excuse me. I'm not in the mood for games. Give me the crucifix. Lady, you're lucky I'm a gentleman. Because if I weren't, I would... You'd what? All right, fine. Just remember, I didn't want to do this. Let's see what you've got. Boss fight. <laughs> Don't telegraph so much. <laughs> but from a game design perspective, it's good. I mean, it makes the animation look so fluid. <laughs> nice try. I gave you that one. Freebie. Oh, how sweet. So yeah, it's, you can grab, get out of arm bars with her, but uh, she's she knows how to kick really good. Come here. Now hand me the artifact. Use your Valdo knife. <laughs> Did you know all the artifacts here are stolen? They belong in a museum. I'm really losing my patience. <laughs> So yeah, well, the, all these games have always been, you know, obviously Super I Indiana Jones inspired. This is the this is the game where they finally just start How quoting just call it, even? Yeah. it multiple times throughout the game. <laughs> My favorite part of the Indiana Jones series is when Willy learned kung fu. <laughs> oh, son of a! Have you had enough, or do you want to keep being a smartass? Well, you know, being a smartass has gotten me this far in life. Why quit now? All right, wait, wait. It's in my back pocket. Where is it? Right there. Man, thank God every building has to have like 18 flags hanging off the side of it. <laughs> but where are they? Uh, just met your friend Nadine Ross. She's lovely. They had yeah, to sell all the flags to pay for uh, all the security. Yeah. yeah. But everybody's freaking out. I don't want to rush you, but hurry the hell up. Nathan, where you at? Good question. You? By the ballroom. Look for this round sign thing. It's on the way. Round sign thing. Check. Good news is I got a gun. See you soon. That, that is pretty good news. Yeah. Look, we're going to have to cut our flag budget by about 100%. Now, I know we all love flags. This is a sacrifice we have to make. Do we uh, do we get to keep the poles? Yes. Oh, thank the, God. Yeah, we, we still have enough pole budget. Now, we're selling the flags so that we can buy a security force that's specifically made to fight acrobatic jumping men. I don't see how that's ever gonna come up. I, where, where is the relevance? Nathan! Catch! Hey, well, strangely what? enough, the acrobatic jumping men uh, uh, heist rate has gone up by about 300% in the past 12 years. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's, I mean, the numbers are real. You all right? Yeah, hanging in there. <laughs> I can't get to you from here. You got a way down? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Okay. I'll meet you at the driveway. Just head towards the ballroom. All right, see you there. I think the quickest way down would just be let go. It's a really high drop. How high can it be? Like, this is in the mountains. It's not... <laughs> there is ground. They, they didn't build a skyscraper, mm -hmm. did they? It's high enough, I think. You'll see how high it is in sec. Victor, I'm kind of stuck here. Any ideas? The uh, fastest way is through the ballroom. Except the ballroom's locked down. Yeah, well, now that they know it's you guys, they cleared the place out. That ballroom it is. You get that, Nathan? Yeah, got it. Who said that? But yeah, now you can also uh, mark enemies. So you just, you know where they are while you're sneaking around. It's about that high. That's pretty handy. And yeah, I guess that's pretty high. Yeah. Seems impractical. Mm-hmm. So yeah, tagging guys, super useful, both in stealth and just 
when you're in combat because they're, as usual in Uncharted games, there are many men with guns that want to shoot you in the damn face. So being able to keep track of them a little better is pretty nice. Come on, come on. Come on. What is that gun? What is that gun poking over the ledge? I'll never know. Oh, I wish I didn't know. <laughs> So yeah, here's the interesting thing. A lot of, not all of the, the combat sections in this game, uh, but a lot of them are more open now in that in previous Uncharted games, to progress, you had to kill every enemy. And it was probably mm -hmm. going to be via a gunfight. A lot of the areas in this game now, you can completely sneak through them without being spotted, although it's extremely difficult to do that. Um, but also, you just, you don't have to kill all the enemies to progress in a lot of areas now. If you can find the exit, and mm -hmm. you can make it there, like, you will progress. I, I just love you sneaking and, and, like, grabbing people from the tall grass like a Jurassic yeah. Park 2 raptor. Yeah, also, uh, I think you're gonna really appreciate this new, this new move. Check this out. Hop! Oh, yes! <laughs> I appreciate it quite a bit. That is not just a stealth move. You can do that in normal combat as well. As long as you've got some height between you and a guy, you can okay. jump right Almost on their the damn bomb. head. L let me just correct you there. That is normal combat from here on out. Yeah. I'm pinned down in here. Use a hand. On my way, Sam. That's plan A the rest <laughs> of the way. It's really easy to pull off, too, because, like... Even if you're not, like, right below a guy or he's kind of off to the side while you jump, that ability just has, mm -hmm. like, a natural homing ability on it. So, like, even if he's off to the side, they will just go, oh, I'm close enough, and he will just become a, a dude-seeking punch missile. <laughs> yeah, some more guys appear here. Uh, we just got to get to that zip line. So, again, you don't have to take everybody out. We can go up this thing we push to get up to it. But also when those guys walked in, they opened that door to the stairwell over there. That will also take you up here. Yeah, it's like, bye. I'm on a zip line. See ya. Oh look, destructible cover, hey! Yeah, lots of destructible cover. If it makes sense that it could break, it'll happen. We can make it work for you, too. That ice sculpture will not save you. Oh no! The ice sculpture! How dare you, shotgun man! Give me your shotgun. You can't be trusted with this. <laughs> Stop destroying art. Oh, so yeah, the steel fist still exists, of course. Oh, you. Yeah. <laughs> Shotguns, pretty good. Even from long distance, they can two-shot enemies, and it has a super wide spread, so you can catch a lot of guys with one shot. Cool. Oh, there's stairs. I love stairs. Oh, I love stairs so much. <laughs> Sounds like we're running out of time here. Hold on, kid. Nearly there. Did Sully bring a tank to the party? <laughs> yes. Because I think that's what we're going to need. Yeah. Unless you're driving a hearse, you better hurry. This gun's all right. I think it's a little inaccurate if you, you fire for too long, but it's pretty good. Does, does it make the bad men dead? Yeah. All right, then it's good enough. All right. So, Dismas, <laughs> how are you? I hope I don't go to hell for this. Oh, shit. What? It's empty. What? Oh, you're such an <laughs> asshole. He's your brother. 
All right, skull and crossbones. Very good sign. Xavier's insignia. Oh, I've, it's a lot of people's insignia. <laughs> uh, mecum eris in paradise. Today you will join me in, in paradise. paradise. It's when Jesus said to Saint Dismas on the cross. Right. But what about these numbers here? What do, what do you make of this? It's some kind of code or a phone number. <laughs> Come on. The dates. Huh? Look. 1659. It's the year Avery was born. 1699. Let me guess. The year he died. Well, uh, by most accounts, yeah, but that means we have date of birth, date of death, and paradise. Which means we're looking for Avery's grave. It's St. Dismas's Cathedral. <laughs> Wait a second. Hasn't Rafe been scouring that site for ages already? Yeah, the cathedral. See these symbols? Yeah. These are found on old Scottish gravestones. I know a lot about right. Scottish gravestones. Right? By the way, it's now, Sully. Look at this. The layout of this place is really unusual. Uh, Here's the cathedral. I'd like to know a the usual graveyard. cathedral of that era. <laughs> Ray's been focusing on the wrong area. Exactly. Guys, we're going to Scotland. All right, all right. Wait, wait up. You do realize that Rafe knows you're coming. Yeah, we can deal with that when we get there. I'll shoot him. That psycho would like nothing better than for you to show up. Plus, he's got Nadine and a whole army to back him up. Yeah, but he doesn't have this. The biggest pirate treasure of all time is within our grasp. I thought this was about saving Sam. Well, that's a bonus. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, it's both, right? We need the treasure so we can save Sam. How is Elena cool with all this? Jesus, kid. Look, it's just not that simple. Look, with all that you two have been through together... She wouldn't understand this. You are not giving her enough credit. I can't take that chance. <clears throat> Nathan, he's right. But things have changed. Rafe's involved now, and... I can, I can take this on my own, really. Great. Well, thank you for your input, both of you. Excuse me. So, hey. how's Marrakesh? Hey, yeah. <laughs> now the reception's lousy. Yeah. Something on your mind, dear? Look, I, um, I realize it couldn't have been easy. All those years. Being away. dead, you mean? Yeah, it sucked. <laughs> and I'm sorry for what happened to you. But it's not his fault. I never said that it was. It took a long time for him to get out of this game. You see a gun to his head? He chose this. Okay, he's meant for this life. You really believe that? Why are you here, Victor? Because somebody's got to keep an eye out for him. No, I'll just see you in a few more weeks. Yeah, I will. Okay, I love you too. I like that you can very faintly hear her on the other end. Yeah, it's great. Just told her that the job was going to take a little longer than expected, which is the truth. Right? So come on, what do you say? Sam could still use our help. Well, <clears throat> I do hear that the weather is particularly fine in Scotland this time of year. Kid, let's drink to hiding our true feelings. <laughs> 